Hey you guys, it's Megan. As always, I hope all of you are doing well. I have to start off this video by saying my apologies. My microphone that was delivered decided to be defective. So there's one on the way. So if you must, please do hire the volume. My apologies again, but these things just happen. But today I'm very excited because we're going to be going over a wonderful bag. We're also going to be talking a little bit about Louis Vuitton price increase. But the bag that we're going to be talking about, like the title states, is the newly released beautiful Ellipse PM. We are going to be getting in depth about this bag, what fits in this bag, mod shots, and is this bag worth it? I'll start off by saying, you guys, it does come at a little bit of a hefty price tag, 2510 US dollars. So yeah, we're going to decide whether or not that's worth it. Before we get into that, I want to invite everybody that hasn't joined my channel, please do. I'm inviting you to do so. Join my luxury community <laughs> by clicking on the subscribe button. It's located right down there below on your screen. Also, by clicking that notification bell, you'll be notified every time I upload a video. So now let's get into this, you guys, this beautiful Ellipse PM. Before we get into this, you guys, price increase, Louis Vuitton price increase. The last price increase that Louis Vuitton had was February of 2022. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Prior year, there were two price increases. So 2021 had two price increases. 2022 had one big price increase. That happened to include, and I'm really not the type to say this, that I got something for a specific price. I don't like that because sometimes people do have to pay more. I did get this Pusha SSR for just 525 US dollars. It's still pretty much just like new, the interior is immaculate. I was also able to get this in the monogram in the Demi Azor for my mom, so I'm happy about that. But yes, you guys, you know the mini pochettes, a lot of other items went up astronomically with the last price increase. So this is how I'm feeling about the price increase that is to come. This Ellipse PM, like I said, is 2,510 US dollars. When you compare it to, say for example, the Speedy 25, I'm not sure how much this is, but I know it's not 2,510 US dollars. You get a lot of canvas and you get a lot of vachetta. And why is there such a big difference in price, we can ask ourselves. Well, I could just say this. I do believe that this price, as well as the side trunk, is a prelude as to what's to come with price increases, unfortunately. Now, I definitely could be wrong. Of course I could be wrong. When I remember how much the Neverfull went up last year, oh my gosh, astronomically. Also, it was October and November that YSL did have a dramatic price price increase. Their Lulu bags went up $350, $400. So that's something to remember you guys because it's been a while since the last Louis Vuitton price increase and I'm not saying to panic buy, that's definitely not what you want to do. But if there is a bag that you're interested in and you can well afford it, then I would definitely say go for it because we just don't know what those price increases are going to be. We'll say this though, I think you guys would concur. That side trunk bag for being a canvas bag is beautiful. I've seen it in person. But for $3,800 canvas bag, I had my reservations. But then again, this bag, $2,510 US dollars, that's a hard little pill to swallow as well because you would think that this would be a lot less expensive. When you think about the Alma BB, which I have right here, this price is right now at 1760 US dollars. I presume you guys, this one's going to go up. The Alma PM is going to go up. Again, I do believe this one right here is going to go up too. And with the whole 2023, we're not going to be able to order canvas online. It's only going to be in store. You guys, I highly recommend going after any canvas piece that you're interested in. And we have to keep in mind, you guys, that these prices that are being released for monogram bags, like this ellipse PM, like the side trunk. In my opinion, they're a reflection of what is to come with price increases. What if the Alma BB jumps up to over 2000? How are you guys going to feel about the Louis Vuitton fashion house? So what do you guys forecast as far as a Louis Vuitton price increase, as far as when do you think it will happen? 
And do you think it's going to be a big increase or a small increase? And might I add, what do you think will be hit the hardest? And if the prices do pretty much skyrocket, do you see yourself still investing with Louis Vuitton? Those are the questions. I will say this in closing very, very quickly about Louis Vuitton's price increases. The thing is this. All fashion houses are doing it. There's just nothing we can do about it. And when you look at Chanel, they've just gone up so astronomically. It's almost like Louis Vuitton has to follow them just to keep up. And then with Louis Vuitton, we have underneath that YSL, Gucci, brands like that. And then we see like last November, October, one of those months, YSL had that huge price increase. I have the small Lulu, I say that humbly, I have two of them. And the price that I paid, I had only gotten it perhaps a year earlier, was just crazy in comparison to the two price increases that they had. I do believe that the small Lulu is now around $3,000, maybe a little bit more, I'm not too sure. So I just see basically all classic pieces going up. As far as SLGs go, we really just don't know what to expect. So yeah, again, you guys, if there's something that you've really been wanting for a long time and it's a classic perhaps i would say pieces like the neverfull speedy on the go pochette accessoire mini pochettes you know the best predictor of the future is based on past behavior hate to say that i got that from dr phil but yeah sometimes he's correct with what he says <laughs> so yeah you guys the best predictor of the future is based on past behavior and based on past behavior these price increases are just coming our way. It's like a wave. And we really just don't know how big that wave is going to be, but if there are some fishy in there that you would like to obtain <laughs> from that wave, then I would definitely say go for it. So now on to the full review of the Can I Show Her beautiful Ellipse PM. She's so anxious to show you what fits in there that she already opened up herself. <laughs> Not really, but kind of, sort of. Difference between the vintage bag and this one, although I must say, for all of you guys that have the vintage bag, congratulations, that's awesome. I wish I had the vintage bag. Differences are the zippered pocket right here. I'll go ahead and show you guys in just one moment what fits inside. Also, they decided to add a strap to this bag. But like I said in my unboxing, when I saw this bag, I really did envision it as a tote style bag only. It's been a shocking experience, I must say, with this bag. It's been an adventure. <laughs> I love it. Now this bag, I'm gonna say it time and time again, I know, it does remind me of a beautiful bag that would have been worn in the 1940s. It's very interesting because if this bag had been the type of bag that was released and never existed before, I don't know if I would have been as drawn to it. I love the fact that it is a revamped bag. It's a vintage bag that's been altered a little bit, but yeah, you guys, I'm all for classic and I'm all for beauty and I'm all for unique, which this bag definitely offers a very unique shape, a very unique style, a very feminine style. I've heard a lot of that from you guys. So I'll go ahead and show you guys real quick. The zipper is so very buttery. The interior I do believe is textile. You guys can see it opens quite a bit. Bits. It does have a back pocket right there. And then the front pocket, let's go ahead and zip that. And it does have a buttery zipper as well. And it's very roomy. I do want to show you guys really quick what this Ellipse PM looks like in comparison to my Speedy 25. So you guys, it looks like this. This is the difference. And some might say that these bags look similar, but I think you guys can tell very, very different. This is canvas, it doesn't have support, it really doesn't have structure. Well, this one is completely structured. It's just absolutely amazing. But don't get me wrong, I love my Speedy 25 and I'll never ever sell that, that's for sure. But let's go ahead, I did get some SLGs out, quite a few, and I wanna show you guys what fits in here in comparison to the Alma BB. So I'm gonna start out with my Toiletry 15. This is not empty, you guys. I actually have a cosmetic case in there as well as lipstick so let's go ahead and put that in the ellipse pm i am also going to add a mini pochette i'll be completely transparent there isn't anything in this but this is extremely structured so there might as well be stuff in there that's why i chose this mini pochette i'll put that in there as well looks like this 
I will go ahead and choose the biggest compact wallet that Louis Vuitton sells, my favorite compact wallet, my favorite wallet in general from Louis Vuitton, the beautiful Victorine wallet. Set that in here and go ahead, show you guys what that looks like. And another item is obviously a phone. It's a very big phone, fits in there perfectly. And another item, I just picked this out just because it's an SLG. This is the Zippy coin purse. I love it, you guys. I have a few from different collections, but this one is my absolute favorite. I got this from the Valentine's Day collection. I do believe it was 2021. Love it so much. I'll never, ever sell that. So I'll go ahead and put that in here as well. And then I'm going to, I obviously need my keys, but I want to go ahead and try this Gucci pouch, which I love so very much. I'm actually gonna be putting this item in upside down. You guys can see I have all inside, but I feel like it'll fit better if I do it that way, and it doesn't matter to me anyways. So let's go ahead, zip it up, and see how it looks. It's zipping perfectly. So you guys can see the zipper truly is perfect all the way around. And you know what I forgot? I forgot to try to put something in the front of the pocket. And I think a lot of you guys are questioning what fits in there. So something that I always bring with me, I think you guys are a lot like me. I can't go anywhere without my keys. This is the Louis Vuitton four key holder. I'll go ahead and stick it inside like so. I will try this reverse monogram, which I absolutely love. I will stick it in the back. And let's see if this zips up. I do believe that it will. Yes, it does perfectly. And here we have the beautiful Ama VV. I should just do a separate video on how wonderful this bag is. I can't say enough, especially in the Demi Urban prints, but that's another video for another day. Now we're focusing on what fits in this bag in comparison to the new Ellipse PM. So let's go ahead, open it up, and let me go ahead and unzip this Ellipse PM that has everything inside. I'll start off with the mini pochette. Like I said, it's a structured mini pochette, so there might as well be things in there. So I'll put that in here. I also had my Victorine wallet. I did show you guys that. I also had my toiletry 15, which has a compact in there as well as a lipstick. Let me go ahead and put that in here. I also did have a Zippy coin purse. Let's put that in there as well and see how it's fitting. It's actually fitting quite well, you guys. It's a little tight, but yes, it's fitting. And I also had my Gucci little pouch right here. With the pouch, it's just a no-no. It's just not going to work. And I did forget to add the phone, so I don't know. Let's see. I could take this Gucci pouch out, try to add the phone, because I think we all need our phones, right? The phone definitely fits, but the Gucci pouch is just not going to fit. Let's go ahead and zip this up to see if this is a good fit. Um... You know what, you guys? I don't like it if I'm zipping it up like that. That's just going to hurt the bag. So I'm trying to see if there's a way that I can rearrange. I arrange like this. Let's see. Uh, no, I don't like to do that. <laughs> I think you guys understand. So let's take something out. I will take out the Zippy Coin Purse Wallet. And let's see if it closes now. Yes, it does. It... It looks like it wants to have a slight zigzag, but it doesn't. It does fit it quite well. I would definitely be comfortable with this. But if there was anything else in this bag, you guys can imagine the zigzag would really just continue because it's starting right now. <laughs> so basically, the point of the whole matter is, what was I able to fit in the Ellipse PM in comparison to the Alma BB? So these are the extra items that fit in the Ellipse PM in comparison to the Alma BB. TV. So there's not a big huge difference as to what fits into both bags. I think they're pretty comparable, but the Ellipse PM is definitely going to fit a little bit more. It is bigger than the Alma BB for sure. And yeah, you guys, it's just a completely different bag. And don't get me wrong, I adore the Alma BB so very much. I need to take these items out because it's getting heavy. But yeah, you guys, I hope that gives you a good idea as to the differences between the Alma BB and the Ellipse PM, what fits inside. I showed you guys the extra items that'll fit in this bag. So yes, it's definitely bigger than the Alma BB. 
I think I made my point. So I hope you guys understand what fits in this bag. I love it. What I want to do now is do some mod shots for you guys because I haven't even tried this bag on over the shoulder on the shortest setting and I'm really interested to see what that looks like. Like I said, I adore wearing this crossbody. I haven't even tried this on with my monogram strap for my push it Matisse. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, you guys, I flipped the camera in the room to be able to give you mod shots. So I had initially said in my unboxing video, I've said it quite a few times, that when I first saw this bag, I envisioned it tote style. So that's the way I'm going to be showing it to you initially. In my mind, for whatever reason, well, I guess it makes sense. Because back to the 40s, this really does look like a beautiful 40s bag that somebody would wear. Now, I love it with the charm. This is a great bag to dress up. Or, you know, just in its simplicity, it's absolutely gorgeous. So I love it, you guys, to style. I think you would too. What I'm going to do now is try on where I can find the strap. Yes, there it is. The power of magic, I guess. But this is the strap on the shortest setting. I'm going to be seeing this bag for the first time with you guys on the shortest setting over the shoulder and see how it looks. Again, I just never envisioned this to be a bag with a strap, but... I like it. What can I say? I don't know. I think it's very, very pretty for whatever reason. The shape does go with the strap, in my opinion. So I'll show you guys a little bit more up close how it looks from the side. Very, very beautiful. Again, very dainty, very feminine, very beautiful. Now what I'm going to do now is go ahead and adjust it and put it on the longest length. It looks like this. Now I have to point this out. What I noticed when I first tried this on in store is how it hangs off the hip. Because of the shape of this bag, it literally just plops off the hip. And obviously that's a wonderful thing because it's going to make the bag stand out. When you think, for example, the Speedy Bandolier 25, which I happen to have right here. So yes, this is the Speedy Bandolier 25 and this is the Ellipse PM. Some may say, you know, they're a little bit similar. Obviously they are because they have Monogram and Vichetta, but if you look at the style of each bag, completely different. And you guys can see how this one just kind of adheres to my body. It's more of a boxy look, whereas this one is just so dainty and feminine and stands out beautifully. Now, don't get me wrong, I love this bag but I'm loving this one more. So what I wanna do now is go ahead and try on that Pochette Matisse monogram strap and show you guys what this Ellipse PM looks like with that on. Okay, so over the shoulder, it does look like this. I think it's pretty, you guys. Again, I'm going back to the Vichetta. No, I really like this. I think it is very pretty, but yeah. I think my imagination was right. I do prefer the Vichetta strap, but it's nice to have options. So let me go ahead and lengthen this very quickly and we can see how it looks as a crossbody together. You guys, I cannot even tell you how excited I am about this bag. It's just amazing. And to think that I chose this bag over the side trunk, which is on my wish list. Well, let's just say that speaks volumes about this bag, at least for me anyways. But I'm loving it, you guys. And again, how it just hangs off the hip like so. I just literally thought of something, you guys, because I have a specific bag on the floor right now, and I want to show you a side-by-side -side comparison. It's the Alma BB. Let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. I want to show you guys something. Okay, so here are both bags. Well, look at the handles. The handles from the top of the bag are obviously going to add some height to the bag. And when you look at the size of the ellipse compared to the Alma PM, I mean, is it just me or does this bag look bigger? Hope you guys see what I'm talking about. Hope the mod shots helped. Now let's get back to the video. It's very safe to say, you guys, in comparison to my last unboxing when I just raved about this bag, I am just more in love than you can ever imagine. I mean, I know this is a materialistic object, but I want to say I love you. <laughs> That's how much I adore this bag. She's just so feminine, dainty. I love that it's a vintage bag that's been revamped. I love the changes that Louis Vuitton made to it. And here's the question of the day. Knowing that there are other canvas bags that are much less expensive than this one, I would say seven, eight hundred dollars cheaper. Knowing that fact, is this beautiful, gorgeous bag, does this beauty constitute the price of 2,510 US dollars plus tax that brings you a little bit over 2,700 US dollars? 
Does that make sense? Very good question. And I think it was a little bit easier for me to make that decision because I was deciding between this and the side trunk. But you guys, I would have gotten the side trunk if I preferred the side trunk over this one. But then again, I can't stop thinking about it. But I did, I really loved this bag over the side trunk. And I took my time and my essay was telling me he loved this bag. I had another stranger come up to me and tell me how much they love this bag. I myself, my husband, love this bag. But again, still have that side trunk on my mind. But this one definitely came first. And when I think of the price of the side trunk, $3,800 plus tax. That's gonna bring you around what, $4,100, something like that. This one comes in at around $2,700 after tax. When I look at it like that, I have to say yes, it's definitely very much worth the price. I'd love to know if you guys are gonna keep investing in Louis Vuitton and really on top of that, what do you think of this Ellipse PM? I need to know your guys' thoughts. I need to know your opinion. Are you interested in this bag? Do you think it's a gorgeous bag? Is it just me? I don't know. Is it in my head? Am I the only person that finds this so feminine and dainty and beautiful? I'd love to know your guys' opinion on what I consider to be a very gorgeous bag. I absolutely love it, you guys, and I really think you get that point. <laughs> so that's going to be it for my Louis Vuitton Ellipse PM review, price increases. If you guys happen to have any comments or questions, those questions that I asked you guys about the price increases, love to know question about what do you think about this bag, love to know. Please leave those in the description box below. I say it all the time, I mean it with all my heart. I love hearing from you guys. So now is the time within the video where I'm going to completely transition topics. For any of you guys that are new to my channel, that's what I do. I transition topics to something that's more insightful, meaningful, and inspirational. Definitely different from luxury bags. Today, I'd like to go over a very important message that I titled, Navigating the Storm. When it comes to these storms of life that we all endure, I can't help but think of the parable that was told by Jesus. And this is very inspiring, you guys, so I'll tell it to you really quick. Two men, one man built his house on the rock and he honored God. The other man built his house on the sand. He didn't honor God. The same storm came to both men. And what's interesting is the man that built his house on the rock that honored God was still standing. And the man that did not honor God built his house on the stand. He was not standing. What does that tell us? Throughout life, when these storms come to us, we must always obey God. We must always keep him first. When we do that, we're building our house on the rock. When we do that, that means when the storms come to us, we'll still be standing. And something else, very, very inspiring, you guys. I was thinking about this the other day. In the Bible, I do believe it's in the book of Psalms, we are said to be built like a palm tree. It's interesting that God made us to be like a palm tree. Hurricanes come to where palm trees are. And when these horrible hurricanes come to these palm trees, the palm trees are sometimes just all the way on the ground, just trying to get up, but it can't get up because the winds are so fierce. But at the end of the hurricane, the palm tree comes right back up and it's still standing. And I find it quite interesting, very inspiring, that God built us like a palm tree to be able to withstand any storm. So any winds that come our way, anything that tries to tear us down, we are meant to, we are designed to, we have God's DNA within us, we are made in his image, we are made to stand right back up again. And I'm sure you guys can think of times in your life where storms have happened and you've survived and you're okay. It's so important to remember that because when we do go through storms of life, those are temporary periods of time. It's not going to stay like that forever. Like the Bible says, morning endures for a night, but joy is coming in the morning. It definitely may not seem like that at the time, but that's just the way it is. The very most important thing that I can relate to you guys in this message is you can handle any storm that comes your way. Do you know why? Because God will never, ever, ever give you anything you cannot handle. 
That is a fact. He will never give you something you can't handle. And if something happens that you feel you wouldn't be able to handle, he'll always, 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 I've been through this myself, I can attest, he'll always give you the grace to get through it. He'll always grant you that peace that surpasses all understanding to get through it. Can you remember a time in your life, say for example, you lost a loved one, you thought you just couldn't go on, or perhaps you had a relationship with somebody, it just didn't work out and your heart was just broken. You didn't know how you would ever go on, but you did and you made it through. That's because you're a survivor and that's because God will never give you anything you can't handle. Our life is going to entail testing of our faith. That is inevitable. That is a fact. Keep the faith. Stay close to God. Remember, 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 no matter what storm comes your way, it will pass. It's a storm. It may seem like it's there to stay and it's just never going to go away and there's no solution, but I guarantee you, God has the answer for it. God always has the answer to your problems. You may not see it, but he definitely has it. You just need to keep the faith. You're the captain of your ship. You're the captain of what you allow into your mind as far as automatic negative thoughts. You always have that strength within you that God gives you to simply turn the channel in your mind when that negative thought tries to invade. Because when it does, don't be surprised when it exasperates and it becomes huge and before you know it, you're depressed about it. Just don't allow the thought in in the first place. Squish it down, replace it with something positive like the Bible says. Focus on things that are of a good rapport. God says that for a reason. He wants us to be happy and he wants us to live victoriously. He wants us to be happy. So let's honor him. Let's stay close to him and let's always navigate through those storms knowing that God is always with us. He'll never, ever, ever give us anything we can't handle. And remember, if something happens that you think you can't handle, he'll always give you the grace. He'll always give you the peace to get through it. So that is a fact. So that is what I have to say on the topic of of navigating the storm. If you guys happen to have any comments or questions on that topic that I just spoke of and or she's looking at me right now. I forgot about her you guys while I was speaking. This beautiful ellipse PM. I can't see enough you guys. I mean if I didn't make my point clear earlier about how much in love I am with this bag. Well, let me just say I consider her to be a little bit of a baby to me. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so that's going to be it, you guys. So I definitely enjoyed talking about this beautiful bag, the price increase. I guess I kind of enjoyed talking about that. Yeah, I had to get it off my chest. <laughs> it was on my mind. My next video is going to be my entire small leather good collection of luxury. Definitely excited about that. And I'll go through them very, very quickly. But I'll say this. I looked at them. I have quite a few. And I thought to myself, I don't want to sell any of these. I love them. So very excited about that. That'll be released within the next few days. If you didn't make it to the end of this video, I greatly thank you. Until my next, again, within the next few days, you guys take care and I look forward to seeing you very, very soon. Bye.